Good day, it's Mike from Flex Radio, and today I would like to give you a brief overview of Smart SDR version 3. With Smart SDR version 3, we're introducing MultiFlex, and MultiFlex allows two clients to connect to your radio at the same time. A client is something like a Maestro, like the Smart SDR for Windows, or an M panel uh, front display. You can use two of those from two different locations at the same time. So for an example, what I do quite often is I have Smart SDR running on my PC, I may be doing some digital mode operating, and then at the same time, I'm listening to a net on 80 meters. As well, these options are also Smart Link aware, and as you know, we introduced Smart Link in version 2, and that allows almost worldwide connectivity to your radio using the internet as your pipeline to get back to your radio. MultiFlex runs on all 6000 series radios, 6300, 6500, 6700, both models of the 6400 series and both models of the 6600M. So what can I do with Smart SDR version 3 with MultiFlex? One of the more common things is a common location with a radio with two users. My buddy could share my radio or I could share my friend's radio with both of us making use of it at the same time. I may have a friend who's a shut-in. He may be in a hospital. Maybe he's in an HOA and can no longer have antennas. But yet you still have a station in a much quieter location that allows both of you to access a radio. Uh, club members can share a common radio, limiting the amount of hardware that a club would have to purchase for multiple users. And lastly, you may be able to mentor a new ham and allow him to get exposed to HF while you're also on the air. That's just one of the many things we can do with MultiFlex. So let's have a look at Smart SDR, but first we want to start with version 2 before you upgrade to version 3. And the one critical thing we need to do is back up our profiles. Uh, I'm going to connect to my 6600 here. It happens to be over SmartLink, but that's no big deal. Uh, it's just a different radio. We're going into profiles and into the, um, uh, we want to export our profiles. That's how, that's how we save them. Um, it'll bring up this window here. We'll go to the export tab and we're going to export. Uh, this will push them all on a file. I, uh, I have a desktop and I have my 6600 profiles here and I'm going to click on that and you'll see it says exporting. We'll stop from there. We've shut down Smart SDR and we've saved our profile. We'll bring up version 3. Now version 3 is a, in this case a different radio for me but it's my 6600M and uh, version 3 has popped up as, as there but more importantly, we want to have a close look at um, DAX and CAT. And we're going to bring up DAX and CAT, and there's some critical things here that are different uh, and that you really need to pay attention to. We do need to specify what uh, um, part of the radio we want to connect to. This is a change, and this is going to say that when we use DAX, we're going to either use the Maestro as the user interface, that's the part that you and I play with, or we're going to use the desktop version of Smart SDR. So this is the desktop version of Smart SDR. We just click on that and we would connect. And you need to do this if you're running any digital modes because that's absolutely critical. So both of these are, you know, CAT and DAX. So let's say I want to use the Maestro connection. Uh, I'll just say that connect to each. We're now connected to the Maestro on my 6600M and uh, now the knobs on the Maestro are what we use, not Smart SDR. This is a key difference from the previous versions of Smart SDR because we are now multi-client. Again, the client is the PC or the Maestro type of thing. Now let's, uh, let's change back to the desktop. And we're going to bring up uh, Smart SDR underneath. And the other key thing I want you to look at, should I happen to put the Maestro into transmit, you'll see that on the bottom right that we have a TX button. And if we hover over it, you can see that the Maestro has the radio in transmit. I'll take it out and I will turn it back on. So that's how you can tell if your radio is actually in transmit. We want to also be aware if you're, if you're using this radio with somebody else that you coordinate the use of your transmitter and your antennas and your other resources. Um, you can use it by your telephone, of course, or text messaging or Skype or, or, or some instant messaging like Google Hangout or WhatsApp or whatever. But whatever works for you, there are a lot of solutions to help with that.
One other big change is uh, under uh, settings is we now have this TX band settings. This is where you set up all your switches for your amplifiers, your tune power, your RF power, uh, ALC, hardware ALC, which would go to some amplifiers that require ALC. So this is a big change. Uh, this is saved on the fly and you can have one of these per uh, transmit profile. But if I change transmit profiles to a different transmit profile like the default, you'll see that um, that you get different settings for each of the transmit profile. So this is a this is a big difference. There's also a similar screen on the Maestro, and I'll bring you up a screenshot of that. So I'll drag this in. Um, this is what you would see on a Maestro. Uh, it's the same, uh, slightly different, of course. The colors are a little different, but it's under menu and then uh, band settings, and you uh, would set those same settings there. When another application goes in transmit mode and you happen to be using a Maestro, you will see the TX light light on the Maestro saying the unit's uh, in transmit by the shack. The one other thing I should also show you is places where we have support that you can get help or if you want to ask questions. By far the, um, the greatest uh, asset to our uh, company is the Flex Radio community at community.flexradio.com. Uh, it says fl slash flex radio. You can Google flex radio community and easily find this link. Uh, lots of questions there. And if you're not a member, uh, it's also good to join uh, and ask questions. There is no uh, silly question. Please ask all your questions. Um, as well, for Smart SDR version 3 and any other uh, flex radio FAQ at flexradio.com. So there's some good... Um, it's good stuff in there as well and uh, a whole bunch of questions regarding subscription and and whatever and then uh, lastly should um, should you need to open a support case you've got a hardware issue uh, you want some help with uh, down here under support uh, look for help desk and click on that that'll uh, bring you in and how to submit a request for technical support and that's helpdesk.flexradio.com so there you go there's a quick overview of Smart SDR version 3.0, including Multiflex. I look forward to hearing what your ideas might be, and please share them in our Flex Radio community. Thanks very much for your time. Have a great day.